So there's new faces here. <clears throat> Freedom Hill, this might be the first time you're here, so uh, quick history. Freedom Hill, we're just starting our seventh year, but as of four years ago, basically Matt and I were put in charge of Freedom Hill. So at that time, we decided that we didn't want to have any paid staff. There's no one here that receives any salary because we felt that any offerings, tithe, whatever that came in would be used to go out to the community. And so that's what we've done all along. That's like this conference. This conference we put it on, we knew going in that you know we were not going to make money on this and that was not our intent. We felt this message of coming out of Babylon was so important and we wanted to get a, a wide variety of folks coming in. So saying that, uh, if you feel led uh, that you want to give something, there are two baskets out by the thing there, and that will go directly into this. Our hope is that this is the Freedom Conference Series, as it says, well, it doesn't say up there anymore, but Freedom Conference Series, because we, we feel this so, is so important. We want to try and have something probably toward the end of July, beginning of August, and have a continuation of what we're talking about here, because this is so relevant and important today. I mean, you can you can go. I like I don't go to Drudge Report because they're almost left wing now. But but if you go to Drudge Report and you just look at the headlines, half of the stuff they talk about is what Eddie was talking about up here. It's just it's just the enemy is not afraid. He's in your face right now. So um, that was a good segue. He was kind of talking about the financial system. So if you have money that's evil and you want to get rid of it, you can put it in the basket and we'll turn it into good for Yahweh. How's that? So. Um, but uh, what a blessing to have uh, Eddie and Brent and Rodney and, of course, Matt. Matt's always here. So, But uh, what a blessing these guys are. You know, they, they took time out of their busy schedules to come up and just to share their heart. And I think we were all blessed. And it was good to have four different perspectives. And I don't doubt that each one of us have something that someone said that, you know, we're going to write it down and, like, that's something that Yahweh wants me to press into. So, uh, Matt, did you want to share what you had real quick? I, I just want to say, I, I think, you know, we look at this and it's easy to fall into fear. Isn't it? I mean, so like you see this coming. It's like seeing the train coming down the track and you're on the track. But God's not calling us to operate in fear. The greater exodus, yes, it's at the end of the exile. And I, I, I was talking to Jim earlier, but God can literally drop manna out of the sky. Right? He can give us water out of the rock if that's what it takes. So I just want us to, to walk out of here filled with faith. God is capable. Our God is capable. He's proven it over and over and over. He proved it cyclically so we can expect it. So, come on. Part three. I'm just kidding. No. So, why has the God of Israel drawn us to the Torah? And drawn us to the Torah, come out of mixture, but the, 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 the other thing is, so we would understand His plan for the end of the ages. And while this is what the enemy is doing, what God is doing is bringing His people back to the Torah and he's promised to end the exile and to gather and unite the 12 tribes of Israel. And in uh, doing so, Yeshua is going to return and he's going to rule and reign with us. And so that's the good news plan that he's promised us. So he hasn't left us without hope. Um, the, the, the hope is his promise the, in the covenant he made with the fathers to gather and unite the 12 tribes of Israel, which is another subject and perhaps another yeah. conference and, an, and another time. Thank you, sir. Well, this is a wonderful time. We just kind of wanted to wrap this thing up. How, how, do, how do we want to end? We want to prayerfully consider how would God like us to end this. And, and, and that's my heart, and I know it's Matt's heart. And, I, and, and praying, we, we talked, and I believe it's the ending of this comes from Acts chapter 4. Um, we're coming up to Shavuot which is a time of refreshing of the Spirit. It's the fulfillment of Joel 2. In the counting of the Omer, that's where we're at, aren't we, Brent? 
and, and, and really what's happening, what's been happening down in Ava. There's been a fresh baptism of the Spirit happening. And, and this is Torah. It is. It's Spirit and truth. In Acts chapter 4, all of the disciples were already filled with the Spirit. It already happened. And it says, For truly in this city you were gathered against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, both Aaron and Pontius Pilate, along with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, to do whatever your hand and your purpose predestined to occur. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and grant that your bondservants may speak your word with all confidence. While you extend your hand to heal in signs and wonders, take place through the name of your holy servant, Yeshua. And when they had prayed, the place where they had gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak the word of God with boldness. Let's stand. Come on. And I believe... The Holy Spirit is given to those who ask. What good God, when you ask for the Spirit, would give anything other than the Spirit? A good Father gives good gifts. And He knows we're in a time we need help. To be bold for Him. It's that simple. It's not magic. It's just simply sons and daughters asking a good Father for His Spirit. That's all it is. So just pray with me. Father, in the name of Yeshua, we love You. We pray to the resurrected Messiah. We pray to Him. Lord, we ask that You would consider the threats of the Herods of the world. And that You would grant to Your servants boldness through the Spirit of the living God. Boldness to speak in the highways and the byways. Boldness to speak in the grocery stores. Boldness to speak in the churches. Boldness to speak wherever You lead us. That wherever we go, we would be a light shining for Your kingdom. Father, we ask that You would baptize us fresh in Your Spirit. Father, bless Your servants, all of us, from young to old. In the precious name of Yeshua. Amen. God bless you guys.